it is asking, is marriage a destiny? Okay. How can I know the person and how can I make a decision? Last one, yeah? Last one. Yeah, that's last one, but it's hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Some of you are too dramatic. When you want to marry someone, then this is the qadr of Allah. Subhanallah, he is perfect. And then when he says, uh, I want to break the engagement. Oh, the qadr of Allah. How, I don't understand the philosophy of qadr because the engagement broke. <laughs> Marriage is an informed decision. Families come together. You do the best you can to understand if this is a good decision for you. And it's like any other decision. My dear daughter, my dear son, my younger brother, my younger sister, this is like any other decision. Nobody writes a question, is buying a green car the qadr of Allah? Is eating chicken sandwich this afternoon for lunch the qadr of Allah? No. All the other decisions are your responsibility. Marriage, qadr of Allah. <laughs> Where did you get this idea from? <laughs> Make an informed decision. Learn about the person you're trying to marry. Understand if you have a personality that will work with each other. And even after all the exploration and conversation, sometimes you know what happens? You can't escape drama. Yes. Sometimes drama happens anyway. Nuh ended up with a pretty interesting wife. Asiya radiallahu anha entered, ended up with a Fir'aun for a husband. Don't raise your hand. Your husband's not Fir'aun. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes people change. Sometimes the person you married later on, they're not the same as they used to be. Maybe the way they feel has changed. Maybe life has changed you. Maybe experiences have changed you. Don't blame that on the qadr of Allah. That's not the qadr of Allah. That's, that's life. Life happens. Our deen is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It gave us a way to understand the marriage relationship. The advice I will give you about marriage, the one thing I will tell you about marriage that people don't pay attention to. I want to marry her because I love her. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, I'm married because I want to marry him for Dean. You're not marrying a beard. You're marrying a human. <laughs> it's a person. <laughs> you, could be, you could be religious, pray five times, and you could still hate their guts. Just because someone is practicing their Dean does not make them a good person in every other way. There are plenty of people that have an anger problem and they go to Hajj every year. But they still have an anger problem. So, what I'm trying to get at, Allah mentioned one thing about marriage that is on top. Number one, everything else is later. This is called Lamut Ta'leel. He said he, gave, he made you into spouses for the purpose that you could find peace. For what purpose? Say it. You could find peace. And then two and three. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً wa That's two and three. Number one is peace. Now what does that mean? That means when you love someone, but they, sometimes you, love, you can love someone without respecting them. You can love someone without being honest to them. You can love someone without caring for them properly. 
You can love someone but hate their family. And all of these things, you know what they do? They take away the peace. So even if love is there, peace is not there. And when peace is not there, the purpose of the marriage is gone. The purpose is gone. The purpose is not love. That comes from Allah. The purpose is not care, rahma. That comes from Allah. You, your purpose is to find peace. So when you're looking for a spouse, you're asking yourself, what is it that makes me peaceful? What is it that gives me calm? My wife, my husband, they should be my calm. When I talk to them, my stress goes down. My anxiety goes down. My anger disappears. Because all the storms in my life, my spouse gets rid of them. That's the kind of person I want to marry. Now if you're talking to someone and already there's drama, there's already a temper, temper problem, there's already attitude, there's already difficulty in communication, and you're ignoring it because you love him too much, then you're not going to have peace later. You're just, you're simply not going to have it. This is actually the primary objective. And young men and women, when you get married, the most important conversation is going to be, what gives you peace? Tell me. What gives you peace? How can I give you that peace? And what gives you peace? How can I give you that peace? لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So you can give each other peace. You give each other sakina. That's it. You know what most people suffer from? Marriages and drama. No peace. <laughs> no peace. <laughs> Young men, university students, right? Stay out of trouble. Stay in good company. <laughs> Stay purposeful. Young women, when you're learning in university and college, stop having anxiety. Who's going to marry me? When am I going to get married? When is the qadr of Allah going to come? Stop. Just do your homework. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Last thing. When, when you live a purposeful life, when you accomplish purpose and you live that way, then good people of purpose will come in your life. You won't have to look for that spouse. That spouse will look for you. You have to just become purposeful. And you can do it. You're smart. You're creative. Allah has given you opportunity. You're Muslim. You have the perfect life. You have the perfect life. Yeah. This is not a challenge. <laughs> إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر